A man with a plan said, enough. Look, for years, for years they've had this problem. And everybody has said sort of, oh, don't talk, don't talk. Don't please don't talk. The last administration had a policy of silence. Don't talk! You may make them and him angry! Don't talk! If a horrible statement is made about the United States, don't say anything, we have no comment. Please, please, oh my God. I'm not going to give you what's going to actually happen because we don't really know. But I'll tell you one thing, we're not playing games. And I remember, you know, it was very rough three, four months ago. That's very nice, thank you. That's very nice. No bell. <laughs> I just want to get the job done. So, if we would have... If we would have said where we are today from three or four months ago, remember they were saying? He's going to get us into nuclear war, they said. Nuclear. No, no, no. Strength is going to keep us out of nuclear war. Not going to get us in. Racist, sexist. These people kind of remind me of that kid who said he didn't like Trump because he's a gay loser with a bad haircut. Do you support Trump? Do you? No, I do not support Trump. Why not? Because he's just a loser that is gay and has no life. Why do you think that? Because, do you see his haircut? Like, what kind of haircut is that? What's the difference between a wet raccoon and Donald J. Trump's hair? A wet raccoon doesn't have seven billion dollars in the bank. Tell me, if you're looking for a summary of the media's response to all this progress, this doesn't. <laughs> This was unexpected yesterday. It should have surprised us. Why are we still listening to these people? It's Donald Trump's openly avowed willingness to go to war with North Korea, which was mocked, not mocked, not only mocked by the left, absolutely trumpeted as the end of the world. We're going to be nuked. It's all over. My God, these people never learn from history, do they? Do they, Scott? They never, ever learn, ever, that you simply have to stand up to bullies, and the more you basically, you know, take a knee, and and the more that you pay the Dane Guild, the, the more the Dane returns. No, but taking out their nuclear do you know that potential this country, would create Tim, a fallout. Tim, do you know that this country went out and gave them nuclear reactors, free fuel for 10 years? We, we virtually tried to bribe them into stopping, and they're continuing to do what they're doing, and they're laughing at us. They think we're a bunch of dummies. I'm saying that we have to do something to stop. But if the military Ideally, told you, Mr. Trump, we can't Tim, do this. You give me two names. You're giving me two names. I don't know. Do you want to do it in five years when they have warheads all over the place, every one of them pointing to New York City, to Washington, and every one of our? Is that when you want to do it? Or do you want to do something now? You better do it now. And if they think you're serious, I deal with lots of people. If they think you're serious, they'll negotiate, and it'll never come to that. This is something that could only happen under Donald Trump. I know that better days are ahead. If we believe in ourselves and the way I believe in myself, and I really do believe in myself, then come June, if I decide to run, you'll have the great pleasure of voting for the man that will easily go down as the greatest president in the history of the United States. Me, Donald John Trump. God bless America and good night. Good night. will make America great.